needs to be cleaned up in the back of the room too. Uh, it's been, uh, the ages of uh, Stands on golden sand and watches the ship that go sailing somewhere on the sea. She's there watching for me. If I could fly like birds on high, then straight to her. And um, this is a place where I have all my memories of childhood and, and it's been a big part, Hunnisville's been a huge part of um, what has made me, me today. And um, yeah, like I kind of wanted to acknowledge as well how much my parents have pumped into this house. Um, they've restored the whole front section of the house back to Federation times and some of my first memories are this whole section 
been built by this guy I used to call Jack the Wombat because he used to <laughs> climb out of holes underneath the ground <laughs> and, and build around. And, and in the front rooms, mum and dad dragged me from antique shop to antique shop to buy all the furniture, the light shades, everything of the time. Um, and they've just put so much effort into this place and it's a, such a nice opportunity to be able to have old friends around <laughs> seeing it in Young this friend. state right now and it just looks so awesome so a huge huge thank you to mum and dad for um putting this on for us and having all that. um also i mean with the memories it's not just a house i've had uh, we've got very old friends here today, and many of you. <laughs> I do mean old age, Jenny. Long standing. I mean long standing <laughs> friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> and some of you have known me since um, since I was born. And as Carl, where's Carl Rives? As a little person, because that's one of the words that Carl Rives says a lot. You guys have known me since I was a little person, and um, that's really, really special to have so many of you here celebrating. Um, Having a wedding up in Byron Bay has meant that we can't have all of you up there and um, we really wanted to have an opportunity to share this with you guys because you're all really, really special um, to us. So thank you so much for coming. Um, and also not just to some of my parents as friends who I've known my whole life, but also um, some of my best friends who are here as well. So Alex, I actually you know, visited her the day she was born in hospital. I think I was one year old and I obviously don't remember it, but having such old friends and Jesse, who some of you will meet at the wedding as well, uh, having very old friends is a really, really special thing to have. Um, but it's not just about the, the house. Um, it's also that this place is home because of mum and dad. And, um, um, <laughs> I don't know, talking about the wedding, Rose and me, um, over the past week, we've been reflecting a lot on family and how fortunate we are to have such amazing family and we both feel that way and um, yeah, my parents, I think one of the things that comes to mind is they're just so kind and so loving and <laughs> yes you are um, and it, it's been a family where We've, we haven't really been fighters or anything like that. And then uh, that's kind of reflected, in a sense, as creepy as it sounds. Everyone says you find partners that reflect your parents. <laughs> you don't, Rory. <laughs> you don't. But I have found someone who very much reflects the same values that I was brought up with. And that, I think, is very true for, for many of us when we look at our partners. And um, so I found someone that is incredibly kind and incredibly patient with me and all my faults. I'm so annoying and sometimes I'm like, I don't know how he puts up with me. Um, yeah, I find him funny even though he says that he's not very funny, he doesn't know how I laugh at his jokes, which is actually kind of true because he tells terrible jokes. But, um, no, I'm just, this is why we have you all, all here, all our old friends, because I want you guys to be able to get to know Rory and get to know also um, his family who have come from so far. And so we've got Jenny. If you haven't met Jenny yet, this is Rory's mum. Hey. Over from the UK. Hey. Um, we have Lorna and Ronald. Where's Lorna? There you are, Lorna and Ronald. And they're over from Scotland. And they're Rory's um, auntie and uncle. And we've also got Tommy and Cammy, and Tommy's mm. one of uh, Rory's old friends from school and uni and then um, housemates later on in life. And um, it means a lot that uh, you guys come and get to meet, you know, the people that uh, make our life in Sydney and Hunters Hill and then Byron Bay next week. And, um, you know, I, I really believe that all the people in your life and your experiences make up who you are. And so thank you for coming and seeing a little bit of my life and who I am. So thank you. It means a lot, guys. So thank you to all of them. <laughs> thank you all, all for coming, and it means a lot. And I might pass on to Dad. Um, but yeah, thank you. I'm not sure I can get up on that. Very briefly, just welcome from Gloria and myself uh, to our home. 
Uh, the actual on the dilapidated front gate that we've got, yeah, it's uh, yeah, um, we have the name of the house, which is Yandra. And Yandra uh, is Fijian for greetings. That's in English. English. Uh, in Australian, probably just good day or something like that. But that's, Yandra is the name of the house. So it's greetings to everybody here. Uh, we've got uh, on the Jenkins side of the family, I guess, uh, we've got uh, Helen and Val, my two sisters, who played a, a role in relation to uh, Victoria and, uh, and uh, her upbringing. Uh, we've got uh, close friends uh, here as well, and obviously there are people from family and uh, friends of Rory's and Victoria. Uh, but what is it about these two? Uh, it makes them so special that we all come here tonight. Uh, is it their good looks and their intelligence and their talent? <laughs> because they've got all that. They have got all that. It's, a, it's an incredible combination of two people. But uh, what they really have is something more than that. They've got a real concern and respect for their fellow human beings, male and female, and the environment. They are strong about this, and a feeling for people leads you to become a doctor, and then to go on and become a specialist. A lot of hard work in doing that, Rory, but no idea how, how much hard work it is to become a neurologist. But I mean, it is an incredible achievement. And, but it's service to other people. And it's the same with Victoria. I can see so much in league with the two of you. You know, I, I very deliberately said to Victoria, look, I'm not going to encourage you to do law. You couldn't have done it anyway. I'm not going to do law. <laughs> but you knew how, how I'm not holidays. Was, so she was never going to do law. Then I come home one day and she said, Dad, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I said, no, sweetheart. What is it? She's going to be a teacher. Her own decision. No, no pressure to be a teacher. There is no better occupation than being a teacher. No benefit, because that is service to the young. And what more is what is better than education of the young? I mean, ask Socrates. How important is Socrates in world uh, in, in world history? And what did Socrates do? He just taught people, taught, passed on information. Of course, their subjects are history and geography, which is the two most important. <laughs> uh, so they they are special people. Uh, we wish them all all the best in the future. And where's my glass? <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I learned friend to the right. So I give you a toast. Yeah, you can come To Rory and Tori. Last time I gave a toast, it actually was a chugger. <laughs> <laughs> it was Victoria's 21st birthday. Did I need to chug tonight? No, no, no. <laughs> and here she was struggling on it, and I thought she's not going to make it. So I stepped forward, and I'm not a good chugger, I can write it. So anyway, I, I found it. Oh, yeah.